the search is on all over the world for new ways of generating electricity in an effort to meet our growing demand for safe, clean, affordable energy. One of the latest innovations is salinity gradient power, harnessing the chemical energy available from the difference in salinity between two solutions, like seawater and freshwater. Reverse electrodialysis is a revolutionary technology that can be used to convert the controlled mixing of the two solutions into electricity. This is how it works. The salt in seawater consists of positively and negatively charged ions. The ions are present in freshwater too, but in smaller concentrations. When the ions are allowed to move between the two solutions, they tend to move from the high to the low concentration to balance the difference in salinity between the sea and the fresh water. Special membranes are used to control the process, which allow only negatively or only positively charged ions to pass through. By placing the membranes in an alternating way between the seawater and the fresh water, the ions are forced to move in specific directions, generating a current that can then be easily converted by electrodes into an electrical current. Fresh water has a low concentration of ions, which limits the amount of electricity that can be produced. But in the Repower project, we use seawater as the low concentration solution and mix this with brine which is water with very high salinity levels. So, by introducing much more salt into the process, we managed to overcome one of the technology's limiting factors, enabling us to produce much more electricity. The Repower project brought together 11 companies, universities and research institutions. With financial support from the European Commission, the project has turned this novel approach to reverse electrodialysis from an idea into an operating prototype. It's taken a huge amount of work. The membrane development, stack design, simulations, optimizations and economic analysis. But all that hard work is now producing real results on the ground. A number of small prototypes have operated for some time in the lab but now the first pilot is operating in a real working environment here in Trapani in Sicily. We are producing salt here since 3000 years. This is a very small salt work. We are producing 5000 tons of sea salt per year. And it is very, very interesting that we can use this site also for producing energy in a very new and at the frontier of research and development. Well, the Trapani site is ideal for uh, the reverse electrodialysis technology because uh, there is plenty of availability of different uh, saline solutions. So we have basically from uh, river water, brackish water, sea water and all sorts of different concentrated brines. This is the, the outcome of a four years activities project and eventually we are here with our installation working, operating and leaving us hope for a wonderful future. This prototype is the first plant in the world to be producing electricity from brackish water and brine. It's a prototype of one kilowatt, so about the electricity that one small household needs. We have scaled it up to this size of prototype and we do see an uh, operation that is reaching our targets. This is a very clean energy, it's very silent, there are no moving parts, there are no pollutants, there are no emissions, so you can have a very good result, a clean energy that's available at any time irrespective of when the wind blows or when the sun is shining. We started already uh, years ago with the first uh, fundamental studies in the labs and now we gradually, gradually uh, getting bigger and more confident that, uh, with this technology. This kind of research can only be carried out by using public funds. The European Commission is practically the only source for such high-risk project and of course we must consider the full potential of this technology in an area like, for example, the Mediterranean Basin. 
the sky is the limit, I would say, but uh, because it's a modular approach, so depending on how much water and salt is available, then you can just scale it up in principle indefinitely.